Hi, my name is Julian. I was born in the south of Italy and I started cooking at the age of about 13 with my mom and ever since then I developed a real passion for cooking and at this point in my life I would like to share it with all of you. Hello, and my name is Julia and today I want to show you a couple of different ways to cook artichokes. Wonderful, delicious artichokes. They're so versatile and this is the right time of the year and um, today actually I have my daughter with me because she wants to learn how to actually clean the artichokes, yep. which is the trickiest part. Once you learn that, everything should be easy and wonderful. Okay, so let's get started. Easy I have easy a course. package of fresh artichokes that this is the time of the year, like I said, you'll, you'll only find them now, this size at least, you'll get the big ones. The big ones, the only problem with the big ones is that the only way to cook them is to steam them or just bake them or put them on the barbecue and then peel them one leaf at a time and, and eat them, enjoy them like that, which they, they're fine, they're delicious too. The small ones, they're versatile because you can do so many things with them. You can do fried artichokes, you can make them with pasta, you can just, you know, boil them and season them as a salad, you can actually eat them raw. So and you can pickle them too, right? You can pickle them, which yes, you know. which they are delicious. I do that all the time. Squeeze F the, the juice of the lemon into the um, water okay. so that it helps the artichokes from getting dark. They are, unfortunately, it's one of those things that gets oxidized really fast. They get really, really they get dark, right? They get dark. Mm -hmm. they dark enough, and right? we're actually going to stay in our hands at the same time. So we can use you know, gloves if we want to. So what you want to do is just get the artichoke and get some of the Spin bottom off. So I'm getting, yeah. I'm getting rid of some of the small leaves that we're not going to, you know, they're no good for. So and basically, watch. You just kind of pull Watch me for this. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Watch, and then you want to have your thumb right over the working area. We're right. working. So where you pull the no, don't pull it. <laughs> bend it. Bend it over. Right. Then now slowly. Right. See? And then some of the of uh, the the of uh, the heart, some of the leaf, the the, the tender part on the bottom Not quite will dirty. stay stuck to the uh I see. That's okay. It's gonna it's gonna be a little while. And you amateur. know, whatever it's easier. If it's easier to just bend it like this. Watch, watch, to bend it like this. If it's easier for you, do it that way. I will start this way. I've been always doing it like this. Mm -hmm. What happens is as you go along, the leaves will get tenderer and tenderer. And so now, go on the, on the board and just cut just a little bit of the, the tip. Like that? Right. Right. Okay. So now you're gonna. The last thing you're gonna do is just trim the outside. Okay, so let me watch you. Over it. Right. Just go like this. Go around. Get some of that green stuff that's still left there because that could be a little bit bitter. Okay. But just go easy on it so that you still want to get some of it, the the um, core of it. You want to keep. You want to keep the most some of the leaves. most of it as you can. Right. Okay. Once you do that, then this this is the uh, the, the edible part that you want to actually cook. So then okay. what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quarter it, make wedges, and this is what we're going to cook. I want to show you one trick. Once we finish cleaning the artichokes, the lemon that's left over, just rub it on your fingers. Just sometimes like the fingers get a yeah. little bit dirty. They get dark. They get like stains. It's not dirt, it's just well, oxidized. It's, yeah, yeah, from the artichokes. So just that, look at it, see? And it's like okay. peach. But yeah, what if you've got like hangnails and stuff? You can burn well, it gets, in, yeah, it gets in oh. a little, a little chum. It'll make your fingers get a little bit, don't cry. Don't, don't cry. Let's see? You don't even throw anything away, and then you can actually put that in there. Ew! So, no, it's fine. It's just <laughs> just We're going to wash them. We're going to rinse them two, three times before we use it. All right. So, don't be worried. It's just lemon juice. 
And we're gonna get some oil, probably about four tablespoons of oil in this pan. And we're gonna um, obviously get some garlic. I'm gonna put that up. It kind of warmed up the pan, but this pan warm up so fast, it's fine. If you have a pan that takes a long time to warm up, then you should warm up the pan first. Okay. Um, and then we need to do Yes, we're going to get uh, the garlic. Uh, the garlic press. See if you can find the garlic press and make okay. it a little easier. And we got some parsley. My favorite cooking uh, tool. Actually, can I just do it right in here? Oh, you can do it right in there. Yes, now it's actually a great and then, idea. Do you have a little knife? Yes. There you go. Make sure you get as much as you can out of it. We're going to get the parsley, that's what we need. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me rinse these artichokes. Okay. A couple of times. Get rid of the uh, lemon juice. And. Oops, we lost one. <laughs> oh, well. So, yeah. All right. Okay. I think I got the garlic in there because it's probably ready. Right. Uh, we're going to need... What the... So now you're just sauteing the garlic? Yeah. Right? Just slightly. Now we don't want it dark because it gets bitter and it gets very okay. smelly. So we'll just get it like where it's, you know, golden but just about. Couple of minutes. Alright. That's sizzling. We have the artichokes ready. We just basically, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up here so that'll be a little easier. What you want to do is you want to start chopping that? Yep. You can do that. Where's the meat? Right there, babe. Okay. It's not like really fine or? Oh, uh, yes. As small as you can. Okay. The right. stomach is basically ready. I bring it right here, just about starting. See, just lightly. So okay. We want to the artichokes. Well, that smells really good. <laughs> That's the idea. Okay, we we'll put them back on. A nice um, medium fire. We'll just kind of keep it. An eye on them and let them saute in the oil and garlic. We'll add some salt, obviously. A nice pinch of salt. Okay, and some pepper. Alright, so then most of the other ingredients in there? Yep. Yeah. Alright, my finely diced parsley is just about ready. Okay. Well, this is, you, you want to get a, a nice little pinch of pepper in there. And then what we're going to do is I have um, about a cup of uh, chicken broth. Okay. And we're going to head to it so they'll finish cooking. They'll take about five, between 5 and 10 minutes. To finish about cooking. A total of five and ten minutes. Right. Once you've started sautéing, and after right. you sauté them for. Right. And how long are we you take, sautéing them? Just for? a couple of minutes, just to okay. get them to, you know, to get a little flavor of the garlic and the, and, the, and, the, and the oil. Okay. So they don't get like really, you know. And also, see, they they lose their, they're getting they get all nice and white again, just because of the hot oil. Yeah. See. And uh, we'll finish cooking them with the broth. By the time they cook, then I have the water for the pasta already on the stove. You get that ready. By the time that cooks, the you water for the pasta is ready. And that's a quick dinner. It's a nice basically. Oh, we can have this dinner a, a very, very minutes. Right. Well, it just it, you know the end time of the cleaning the, the artichokes. Of the artichokes. Now, on this recipe, anybody that's really wary of using fresh artichokes because they don't know how to clean them and they don't want to learn and that kind of thing. You could use frozen artichokes. For this recipe. For this recipe. Okay. I do not suggest canned artichokes. They just, you don't have enough cooking time on those to get them 
to taste okay. They're already fully cooked, right? Basically. So the frozen artichokes. The frozen artichokes will do good in this in this recipe. Okay, this should be ready for the broth. Or so you, do you don't put the whole thing in at the same time, or you do? Oh yeah, oh, I'll, you do. I'll put the whole thing in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, because we're gonna need a little bit of broth, you know, so that when. And that was about a cup. Yeah. Okay. When we when when you cook the pasta, you're gonna need a little liquid to. Um, Right, right. This is basically the sauce. Right. You're creating the sauce. We're creating the sauce. Okay. Now we'll check on salt before we finish cooking them. Make sure we, you know, there's enough salt. If not, we'll just add a little bit more. We'll put it, we can even just lower a little bit the heat. They don't need to go crazy. Just a uh, nice uh, even cover them. Now again, we'll add the parsley just about before we're ready. Okay. Get this out of the way, and that's about it. Uh, we are ready now to basically have this whole thing done. So I'm just going to put the uh, parsley on the artichokes so it stays pretty much green, hopefully. And I'm just going to give it a, a turn. These are basically ready. The pasta is also ready. I'm going to drain the pasta and put the artichokes and we shut it off. Shut off the pasta. Oh, actually, I'm going to save some water from the pasta in case we need it. And I'm just going to drain the pasta. Put it back in the pan. Now that, pour over the artichokes so they'll get. Mmm, I am hungry.